White hour. What the hell did you just say? White hour. What's going on, everybody? Solo Yaka here, and this is the Black Lives Matter video that I was telling you all about. Um, like I said, I'm not a big fan of Black Lives Matter, um, especially after some of the things that I've seen about Black Lives Matter. Um, you know, all lives matter. At the end of the day, all lives matter. You know, right now, what I feel is there's a police problem, not a, it's not racially motivated. Um, if you look at statistics and things of that nature, police actually probably kill more white people than they kill black people. But, you know, I do feel for George Floyd. I'm not saying how it happened for him was justified. It's not. Those, those officers should be held accountable. And we are noticing that more and more. We're in 2020 where there's cameras everywhere. And these police will be held accountable. The best way to hold them accountable is to record them. To make sure there's documentation. So we're going to get into this Black Lives Matter video. Um, once again, I wasn't really trying to be involved with it. I was just there to kind of document. I was only there to try to see what was going on. They had some good points. They had some bad points. Um, but we're going to let you make that decision as well. You know, I know how I felt about it. And I'm not a big fan of Black Lives Matter. Not to say that they can't do what they're doing. I'm not saying that. I just think that the inclusiveness, inclusiveness of groups... Or if you are trying to restrict certain people from being part of your organization like Black Lives Matter have, yeah, uh, I have an issue with that. So let's get into this video. Don't forget to hit that like, share, and that subscribe button. All that good stuff. And I thank every one of you for being here, being a part of this channel. And I'll keep doing what I'm doing and you just keep on watching. So I'm going to get out of here. Soli Ecker. Deuces. guys y'all living the dream staying safe yes sir that's all that matters I like your sign. No justice. That's a good sign. My doctor said because I am in my 60s, I need to stay home. Because I have a grandson who has heart conditions and lung conditions, I need to stay home. So I was obedient and I stayed home. But guess what brought me out of here?
lives do matter. All lives matter. As you can see, coronavirus had no preferences. It continues to not have any preferences. God has no preferences. He continues to have no preferences. All lives matter. But what you need to know is, we put people in authority over our country, over our state, over our community. And if we're not pleased with the job that they're doing, we may have given them the authority, but we, the people, have the power. We have the power to put them in. We have the Helpless, confused. I want you to clearly understand, you hold the power. Be it black power, be it white power, we hold the power. Now, what do you do with that power? Okay, we've gone through coronavirus, and we're continuing to deal with that. I hope everybody's doing the social distancing and wearing your mask. It's so important. No, it's we don't want to lose the right to this thing. It's real, but we can't see it. God is real, but we can't see it. But George Floyd, we saw that. We saw that with our own eyes. And we have at this point claimed some level of victory as a result of it. And I think we need to give ourselves a hand for pushing it, for pushing it, for making it happen. But there's still so much to do. Because one day they won't be talking about protests, rallies, getting together, demonstrations, what's going to happen next. It's going to take a while. What can we do in the meantime? Remember, you have the power. But there are things we need to do. We can't become complacent about this. I want you to realize that we have an upcoming election in August. We have a further election in November. I want you to study your candidates. I want you to become familiar with them. I want you to become familiar with their agenda. I want you to know whether or not their agenda matches your agenda. If their agenda doesn't match your agenda, you don't need them there. They're not doing anything for you. Remember, you have another thing locally. With everything that we face with this police brutality and the sheriff's department and all of that. No, it's not fair. I remember Greg Hill. I walked you as one behind that. The new rebel. Yes, sir. Take care. Take our, let's take our country back. And then you choose who you want to govern beyond there.
Congress, go to men. But you gonna have to get involved. Start getting on some of your stuff committee so that we can United to provide a platform for Fort Pierce. Your candidacy work, get to know us, and we, I think, both can represent your platform, but you must make a choice. What it comes down to for this city, for our beloved city that we all love, comes down to my platform, vision, leadership, and community engagement. We must have a leader that has vision, not only for himself, but for the community. That vision needs to be shared and understood by the people in this community. When I interact with many of you, many of you don't understand what our city platform and county platform are run by volunteers on committees. They are constantly looking for voices that need to sit on these committees. Thank you. Of course. See ya. Oh, uh, yeah, I gotta go to work. All right, take care. Gotta show the support, though, you know? Yeah, take care. You too. Good night. Good night. Right on. Always. Right, Every day. See, we'll see ya. All right. It's all right. It's all right. You got, you got, the, you got the, the, the hearts there. Yeah. Stupid rain. <laughs> cool, man. Thank you. Thank you.